Hello friends, the title of our project is Strain Gauge Tutor. A strain gauge is a transducer whose resistance varies with applied force. It converts force, pressure, tension, weight, etc. quantities into a change in electrical resistance, which can be measured later. In this project, we have used a load cell product code CZL601, which consists of four strain gauges in which strong beach arrangement. It is able to sense weight up to 10 kg with accuracy of 0.05 kg and displays it on 16 by 2 character LCD in digital value as well as the weight in gram. This tutor helps in learning the usage of load cell as a transducer and analyze its principles through application. Now the introduction of the tutor. In today's laboratory, in today's laboratory of TMI, we study the working of strain gauge through a load cell beam connected to a digital display whose output is shown in a simple decimal format which is useless in practical analysis of current weight on load cell beam. Also, it cannot achieve linearity in displaying the output. And of course, resolution of the output remains a mystery for the student. So in this tutorial, we have implemented the load cell to get the analog data and convert it into a 8-bit digital data format. And this data is uh, sent to a SST 89E51RD microcontroller which prints it on the LCD in manipulated form. Here in this project, we have achieved 100% linearity in output and resolution up to 5%. Students can calibrate the output of strain gauge for the experiment purpose. Repeatability of output also achieved up to mark for analysis of, analysis of the product. Also, students can modify the program to be downloaded on the microcontroller. We can change the keypad programming as per the requirement, such as changing the unit of the weighted quantity. Also, students can write the program for one of the key in keypad for resetting the output or we can give the memory to the system. DC power supply is given to the DC power jack to the adapter. This supplies the 12 volt to the LM7805 which converts this voltage to 5 volt and directly gives to the 89E516RD microcontroller which is necessary for that microcontroller. This LED shows that 5 volt supply is given to the microcontroller. The keypad is connected to port 1, port uh, 0 of the microcontroller uh, which, which are uh, set for various operations such as resetting the uh, previous data or uh, giving memory to the system or changing the unit of the weight. Then, uh, LCD is connected to the port 1 of the microcontroller which is uh, used for display the output and load cell is connected to port 3 of the microcontroller. Now we will uh, move towards the working of this kit. Now after uh, getting the 12 volt supply at the DC power jack, this supply is uh, uh, supplied to, uh, to the, towards the LM7805 IC which converts this 12 volt into the 5 volt which is necessary for the working of the all uh, all components of this kit. Now uh, uh, if the 5 volt supply is converted the LED glows which uh, indicates that the supply is given to the all components on the kit. Uh, these uh, 5 keyboard push buttons are connected to the port 0 of the microcontroller and which are in the pull down mode. Uh, this LCD is con connected to the port 1 and uh, displays the output of the ADC. Now after the uh, uh, pushing, putting the weight on the wing panel, the, uh, it sends analog data to the ADS1230 uh, uh, IC which is nothing but a 20 bit ADC. Uh, after converting the data, analog data into the digital format, it sends it to the port 3 of the microcontroller which is SST 89E516RD. This 8-bit uh, data is manipulated in the, pro uh, in the uh, controller by programming. Now let's move towards the actual implementation of strain gauge tutor kit. Now we have used the 12 volt power adapter which converts the 230 volt AC mains to the 12 volt DC and so as to supply the 7805 kit IC. Uh, it converts the 12 volt supply into the 5 volt supply. This is indicated by the LED load here. It 
it is indication that the power supply of 5 volt is given to the all components of the strain gauge tutor kit now uh, let's move towards the lcd output the zero on the lcd kit zero on the lcd kit indicates the adc output of the ads1230 adc uh, and the minus 156 ramp is the offset adjustment in the uh, microcontroller programming Uh, now we will uh, place a weight on the wing panel of the load cell. Uh, after placing the weight, we can see the change in the uh, LCD uh, window. That the nine is the ADC output of the AD ADS one two three zero ADC, and one ninety six gram is the weight of the uh, uh, thing on the wing panel.